Hello, this is Mr. Philippak, and today's little review video is all on X-linked traits, or traits that are found on the X chromosome. And so, obviously, if we have traits that are located just on a sex chromosome, our key here is going to be a little bit different, because we have to show that the traits are linked to this sex chromosome. And so you see here, to show somebody that's normal, uh, we'll do X big N. And if you notice here, notice how we tied the chromosome uh, to the trait. And that's very, very important because if we want to show somebody who's colorblind, and again, if it's carried on the X chromosome, we'll show X little n. Well, you might be also wondering here, well, there's got to be some differences between females and males. And a matter of fact, females have three different types of genotypes. See, we have a female here that can be completely normal which means she's homozygous for the normal trait. And then we have this idea of a carrier, right, where she has the normal allele and the normal phenotype, but she carries the trait for whatever disease. And in this case, it's colorblindness. And then finally, uh, she can be colorblind. And the only way a female can be colorblind if she inherits both recessive alleles. But a lot of our focus here, a lot of times, when we talk about genetics and X-link traits, is this idea of being a carrier. People are really interested to find out if they are a carrier because maybe they have the dominant phenotype, in this case would be normal vision, but they carry this trait for colorblindness. Now I know colorblindness isn't the biggest deal, but you know, other things like hemophilia, which we'll talk about later, or muscular dystrophy, these are types of things that people would really want to know uh, before they went and had offspring or children. Now males, when it comes to X-linked traits, really kind of get a raw deal, because if remember, a male has an X and a Y chromosome. So if this trait is carried on the X chromosome, they only have one opportunity to either get a normal or colorblind. So males either have it or they don't. There's no way they can be a carrier. And so I guess it comes back to this idea of where does this X chromosome come from? And you got it, it comes from mom. All right, because dad only gives the Y chromosome. And so, uh, with this, this X chromosome here comes from mom. So we then have to think about, well, what are some ways that males can get a particular trait? Well, mom can either be a carrier or recessive. I mean, if mom is homozygous dominant, there's no way for a son to ever get this trait. But if she's a carrier, he'll have a great chance. And if, he's, if mom's totally recessive or has colorblindness, the son doesn't have a prayer. And so let's take a look at this genetics problem. It says, what is the probability of children being colorblind if a normal vision man marries a woman who's a carrier for colorblindness? And again, we're going to use that same key where X big N equals normal, X little n equals colorblind. And let's put the normal vision male across the top, and we'll put mom, who is normal vision, but if you notice here, she's a carrier. So she has that recessive allele. If we run the Punnett square through, we can see that we have these potential offspring. Or here, we have a daughter who is completely normal visioned and we have a daughter who is a carrier. So in terms of daughters, uh, there is a 0% probability of having a child's colorblindness. If we take a look at the male side here, here we have a normal vision male and then we have a colorblind male. All right? And so the overall probability of having a child uh, who is colorblind would be 1 out of 4. But if we take a look just exclusively at males, right, that percentage jumps all the way up to 50%. Because remember, guys either have it or they don't. They can't be a carrier. And the only way for a guy to get this trait is if mom has it. Well, let's take a look at another example. Let's look at this idea of hemophilia, or what we call bleeder's disease. And these are individuals who have blood that doesn't clot properly. And here in the problem, it tells us it's a sex-linked recessive trait. So again, we're going to want to set up a key that shows that this trait is linked to the X chromosome. So here we have X big N equals normal, and X little n will equal somebody who receives the hemophilia uh, trait. And so it says, what is the probability that children will have hemophilia if mom's a hemophiliac, and but dad is normal? So again, here's dad who's normal, and remember, males can't be carriers. So it's X big N Y, and mom has two X... Uh, little ends. 
So we could almost probably predict that the suns don't have a chance. If there's a sun, they're going to be hemophiliac. And when we run it through, we see that's true. And because dad is normal, all of the daughters are carriers. But the sons, on the other hand, are both hemophiliacs. So the overall probability that the children will be hemophiliac is 1 out of 2, or 50%. But again, if we look just at the males, and this is a symbol for males, right? it jumps all the way up to 100%. And so the males here don't have a prayer or a chance to not be a hemophiliac. Whereas the daughters are all going to be carriers. And that's pretty important as people are planning genetics and planning for offspring. Is they want to make sure that, you know, hemophilia, it's not the end of the world, but it's not the best disease to have. And so people want to know, well, what are the probabilities that if my child is a son, that they'll have hemophilia? And you can see right here in this example, if mom is a hemophiliac and dad's normal, the sons, because they get their X chromosome from mom, remember this X chromosome comes from right here, that the sons are guaranteed to be hemophiliac. So this couple might go ahead and spend a little extra money on genetic counseling to try to increase the probability of maybe getting a daughter. Because that way they're guaranteed that there's no way that their child will suffer from the same disease that their mom has. Well, I hope this little review video on excellent traits helps you out and helps you ace any problems that you have. And as always, thanks for listening.